again welcome back to another video of kicking it with queen so today i'm coming back to you with my very first story time about how i almost got scammed by this company but before we get into this video please 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 go like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i post the video with that being said we're gonna jump right in i have been looking for a remote you know a work from home remote um job some like customer service or something like that and as we all know, Indeed is like, you know, one of the popular places where you can go and search for jobs and apply for jobs. So I did me a profile on Indeed, made me a new resume and everything. And um, I've been applying for jobs. It's been like, you know, a little addi addiction because I'm trying to find something that's perfect for me to be able to drop off and pick my kids up from school and you know something like that because the job that I work now is like it, it like bump heads with the time that my kids have to be at school and got to be picked up from school so I've been looking for a position to where I can be able to drop them off in the morning come home do work or whatever case and be did go pick them back up in the afternoon I pass searching on my downtime when I'm not, you know, working on my business or creating content. I've been going on Indeed on my iPad, filling out different job um, applications for something like remote that I can either call, like call like a call center or something like something to that effect. I end up applying for this position. Um, January 11th. I will leave all the receipts on the screen so you guys can read everything and you guys can see everything for yourself because I do not want this to happen to anybody. So I wind up um, filling out for this specific job January 11th. So the um, I received an email from this job January 20th. I believe that's a Friday. I received an email from a person named Scott Benson. And it was just stating like employment offer, just basically stating that I I need to download this app. So I'm thinking that that's what the remote job like that's that's the requirement. Like you got you got to have this certain app. They only communicate on these certain apps or whatever. This is my first time trying to apply for a remote stay at home job so i'm not knowing how that stuff go but the email basically stated for me to download the app put in a number an interview number to speak with the high the assistant hiring manager which her name is Brittany cooper so i did that i did all of that on the 20th that friday so and i reached out letting her know like you know my name why I was contacting her and everything. She didn't message back until the 21st, which was Saturday, January 21st, which was Saturday at 10.30 a.m. She messaged back and she basically, you know, let me know like, okay, I was here for the interview and the briefing and to learn about the company. As I said before, I'm gonna leave everything on the screen so you guys can read it yourself, get a better understanding. She gave me the whole little rundown of the company and how I will be making $26.95, I believe, an hour and I can uh, only work 40 hours a week I can choose to get paid either bi-weekly or weekly so she just ran all of everything down especially what I'll be doing as far as just a customer service specialist I'll be um taking calls doing emails you know answering customers questions or whatever so okay I, I was like okay she asked me was I you know fit to handle to handle those things so I said of course sure so she went on to the interview question so the interview questions was basically just asking me like my words per minute let me see if I can pull it up it benefits health dental all of that stuff um pay time all holidays all of that i would get all of that after working 30 days with the company okay i was like okay fine um and then he said i'm going to ask you a few questions now and i had to have like swift answers needed once once i was done i was to reply done all right i said okay 
um the question is the interview questions was basically how would you describe your work ethics and are you comfortable with the fact that this is an online work from home job the next question is how no have you ever worked from home or online before are you currently employed how many hours do you intend to dedicate to this job position the third question was well, that was like three questions in one but the next question was do do you have a printer copier and scanner have you been in the military and how many years now the next question was do you have an idea of how to use ms excel the next question was most of the finance and requirements you need will be provided for you by the company can you trust can we trust you with company funds are you willing to work flexible or or long hours when will you be available to start what is your typing speed so she asked him like a like three three four questions within one question but yeah so it was a couple more questions like i said everything will be on the screen so you guys can read so i answered all of the questions in a timely manner now all of this took place that saturday morning that was kind of like a real like when i think back on it it was kind of like a red flag to me because I don't know jobs that do interviews or do anything to that sort on a Saturday, but I'm, I'm I didn't really pay it too much attention because I'm like, okay, this is my first time applying or trying to do a work from home job. Maybe that's what they do. So I really didn't pay it too much attention. So okay, we went on. So then she said, um, here comes to the end of the interview questions. I need you to hold on. So now she's basically putting me on hold on text message, telling me that she needs to hold on because she needs to have a conversation. Um, she needs to forward our conversation to the heads department for an automatic review to see if I was basically eligible for a job. So I said, okay. So she said, after after due consideration and question and answers you provided during the interview session, congratulations, your performance endures. You had a good score. So she basically telling me like I had a good score. I scored an eight point five out of ten. So then she went on to say like I was hired for the company. Now this is all within a matter of like an hour or so. She said I was hired for the company. So that's like the 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 next like red flag to me but i'm still trying to like I, i'm a true believer in god and i have faith so i'm just thinking like okay well maybe you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna really question it too much because i don't want to step in the way of my blessing so i'm just gonna you know move forward with this so i was like thank you for the opportunity what are the next steps so she went on to tell me like everything that i would need as far as a hard wire everything that it would consist of like computer all that stuff so, okay, she asked me, was I familiar with any of the Office 365 for business and all that stuff? I said, yes, I am, which I am. So, then she was like, these are the materials you will be needing for the position or whatever. So, I said, okay. Um, so, then she said, now, this is what really, like, blew my mind because she went on to say how they would send me a startup check. Now, I don't know anything about no work from home positions all i know is you i know you probably need a computer you need internet you need a phone or whatever the case may be so i'm not knowing nothing about this startup check thing i'm thinking like okay and my man is like i don't know like i, I was second guessing it but i'm still like okay so she went on to say that like they was gonna send me a startup check and um it wasn't like I wasn't going to have to pay the money back out of my, you know, it wasn't going to come from my money. It was a startup check to get everything that I needed. She never told me how much the check would be, nothing to that effect. So, um, she told me what that was, that was, um, Saturday. So she then told me that I was to report back online, which is this app that we was messaging on. She told me I was I was supposed to report back there at 9 a.m. my time on Monday. Now I stay in Chicago, Illinois, so I'm like, okay, I'm like, okay, fine. I got time to drop my kids. I'll come home and be able to communicate with her with with no distractions. 
But before I, I went, I dropped my oldest son off because he has to be at school at like 7.30. Dropped him off and then I went and dropped my baby off. When I was coming out of school from dropping him off, which was like eight something, she had already sent me a message. And I'm like, well, she said nine o'clock my time. So I was like, what the heck? You know, but I'm like, okay. But I'm still like over checking it with my husband. Like, do you think this official will woo? So he like, he like, yeah, baby, we're not going to think negative in the situation. We're going to think positive. So, okay. I try to keep that positive man state. So, bam. I, um we got the message in so she was like um when she when she told me to report at nine o'clock nine a.m my time on monday so i said okay thank you enjoy your weekend she said you as well talk to you monday um monday gets here she messaged me at 8 10 good morning all right um how are you today i said good morning Miss Cooper, I'm fine because her name is, if I didn't, if I didn't say it before, her name is Brittany Cooper and the name of the company is called Cosmetic Investment Group LLC. But everything will be, it's going to be receipts on the screen. So she said, good, thanks for asking. I believe you are ready for updates today. I said, yes. She said, she said, well, you are welcome to this company without wasting much time today. I have just been informed by my supervisor, by my superior officer, that your job duty duties and training will commence once you receive your startup check for your your supplies and have all your supply and have all the supplies and your software in your home. That is when we will start with training note that today will be your first official day with us and all hours and time spent online will be put into you will be put into your records and i was advised to get back online tomorrow morning and out here i was advised to get back online tomorrow morning and she was going to provide me some that the next day with the tracking number for this startup check okay so now i'm like okay i'm used to like interviews like old school interviews even even though it's a remote position i'm still like okay we're not gonna have like no type of face-to-face -face. y'all just gonna send me out a startup check but you don't know who you sending this startup check to i don't know really i can't put a face to who i'm talking to so now it's like now i'm in my head about it like no nah, something not right so I asked her, I said, I have a question. Yes, I said, I have a question. So I'm, right, I'm waiting for the startup check and the paperwork as well because I'm thinking that the startup check and the paperwork, everything was going to come together. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm thinking in my head. So she said, yes, that is correct. The startup check will be, will be coming first before the paperwork gets mailed out to your address alongside your working materials. I said, okay, thank you. So then the next day, she said, she said, you are welcome. This will be for the next day. She said, you are welcome. This is going to be, be all for today. You are needed to report back here tomorrow at 9 a.m., which was the next day, to receive the tracking number. So, okay. I saw, thank you. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day. She said, you as well. Um, again, before, I, before 9 o'clock, my time, she's already messaging me. So, she messaged me. At 8.37 the next day, which was Tuesday, January 24th. Good morning. How are you today? I said, good morning. I'm doing great. I'm on. I just, just dropped my baby. I'm on my way home. She said, um, this is what I'm doing. Like, um, I just dropped my baby. I was on my way home. And she had messaged me. I said, good. Thanks for asking. I believe you are ready for updates today. I said, yes, I am. She said, okay. Okay, good. This is the tracking number. So what she wanted me to do with the tracking number, she wanted me to track the package. So I go on UPS because that's who delivered it. Goes on UPS and in that moment it said that the package was out for the de for delivery. Okay, fine. Um, I, I let her know. I said it says, it says that it's out for delivery. She said, good. Once the package is delivered to you, you need to have the check deposited using, using your bank teller or bank ATM so funds can be posted and available for it use immediately or within 24 hours okay I said okay so but now I'm like hold up this like it just wasn't sitting like it wasn't sitting right so 
I go to ask. I said, can we talk over the phone, video chat or something? Or do we just text? So she said, once funds... Once funds are posted and available for use, I will be guiding and directing you on how to make payments to the vendor for the purchase, shipment of your working materials. Understood? I said, understood. And then she come back with, just text for sure. And you are going to keep track of the package and let me know once you receive it. So when she said that, just text for sure, a feeling just came over my body like... No, something not right. Something not right with this. So now I'm like hysterical in the house. I went, I went downstairs. I'm talking to my husband, and I'm just like, babe, I don't think, I don't, I, I don't think it's this, this don't, it's something not right. So now I'm explaining to him what's going on. I'm like, before I can even message her, she's messaging me or whatever the case may be. So he like, okay, babe, well we gon', we gon' see. He like, we gon' see, we gon' see what happened once the check comes so I say okay fine but I'm still like in the ain't like one thing about me I have anxiety really really bad so I'm still like in the anxious mode because I'm like I don't want nothing like I got my kid I'm always thinking about my kids in the situation and I don't want nothing to ever like come in between it so I'm, I'm just in my mind like I wish I never even replied to the message even though going into it I didn't know so then I got to talking to God and I'm just like, God, you know, if if this is something sent by you, you know what I'm saying? A blessing sent by you, then I'm I'm not gonna question it. But if it's something that's not sent by you, please just take it away. You know what I'm saying? Give me some show me some signs to let me know that it's not so I won't push forward in the situation. Okay. So me and my husband sitting downstairs. The check, the UPS people ring the doorbell. They ring the doorbell. So now I'm just, my, my heart is pounding at this point. Like it's pounding. Because I don't want the check in my house. I don't, I just don't want this no more. Like I don't want it. So my husband goes to the door. He, he receives it. I don't want y'all to see my address, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a picture of this. I'm going to leave this also on the screen. But he receives it and this is the package it come it came in I'm trying to take my address out but this is the package that it came it came in this packaging for one the per the person who mailed it is not the same person that the company that i supposed to be working for the company i was supposed to be working for or i applied for is cosmetic investment group llc this came from a gordon AJ TRC Electronics Inc. 4171 Stony Lane, Pennsylvania. That's what that's what this came from. I looked it up and everything. It's an electronic company. So that is what this this paper come from. The check is inside. So once we so once we get it, sorry, I had to catch my phone for it. So, I'm so once we received it, right? Remember, I told y'all, she never said how much the check was going to be or anything like that. We received it, opened it up. This check is, uh, I want to show you guys. I'm, I'm going to put it up on the screen so you can see. But a $7,900 $7, check is what they sent. That's what they sent. So now I'm... Now it's just like my heart is like pounding, pounding, pounding. So now I'm just like, nope, I'm not messing with it. One thing about me, I don't, I'm not messing with nobody money. Mm -mm, I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. So I tell my husband, so my husband like, my husband like message him back and 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 tell him that you know we received it. So I said, no, I ain't messaging him back. I don't, I don't want no parts of it. I'm finna rip it up. I don't want no parts of it. Like, I'm not messaging back. I am not finna pay nobody money. I'm not finna put some money there. I, don't, I can't even put a face. At this point, it's looking like I didn't do did something. Because I don't even know what no Brittany Cooper look like. Or what no Steve, whatever his name is, look like. I don't even know what these people look like. I don't even know if these people is people and they're not computers. Texting me or whatever the case may be. So at that moment, I was just over it. I was furious. I was done. So, but 
she winded up texting me back. Now, after she was like, once I received a package to let her know when I received, that was at 8.45 a.m. I didn't talk back to them no more. No more. UPS came. We It wasn't five minutes before UPS came. We opened the package. And I'm telling my husband, like, mm -mm, I don't want nothing. I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -mm, I'm going to rip it up. I don't want to do it. She wind up messaging me. The package have been delivered. And I believe you received it. So I, that was at 11.58, 11.59. I wrote back. I said, yes, I received it. What now? She said, good. You are needed to open the package. This is what really like, like, mm -mm. you are needed to open the package and send me the copy picture of the check. Yeah, of the check received here. So now it's like, so my husband, like, oh, hell no. Nah. Mm -mm. Excuse my language. My husband, like, oh, mm -mm. they want to. They want you to take a picture of the the check so they can get the number, the routing numbers and stuff off the bottom of the check so they can route the money into whatever account they want the money to go into. So then once I go to the bank to try to deposit it in my account thinking or try to cash it, the, ch the check going to bounce and that's going to be back on me. You know what I'm saying? So it was just fishy. But the crazy, the craziest, craziest part of it is... The check was printed out or they made it seem like the check came from the, the on the check address. It has Old Dominion University, a college. So now you got a check that was that was that has the address of a college on there. You got an envelope, a mailing envelope that got an address of a um electronical company on now the place that i'm applying for is is a totally different place so now i'm just like oh no so i didn't message them back once they said that because now i'm like first you was telling me once i received a check to go deposit the check or cash the check so then i can get the materials that i need for the position that which I applied for which you you supposedly hired me for but now tables have turned and now you're saying take a picture of the check and send send a picture why am I taking a picture of a check that you were supposed to send to me to send it back to you don't make sense you should have copies of you should have the information for your own file of a check that you sent me so that was like God talking to me right then like mm -mm. so I said no nah. I ain't, I'm not messing with that. I'm not messing with it at all. So, I didn't send nothing back. Question mark, question mark is what they sent at 12.07. I didn't send nothing back. So, then they sent another message. Hello, are we connected? Or the check should be voided immediately. That was at 12.21. At 12.27, I sent them a, a message back and said... You can void it. It will be teared up on my end because this is a scam. So I did this story time. That was that was the end of it. I have not. It was nothing else said or anything. But I decided to make this story time because I want the people that you know, people across the world, mothers, whatever, whoever is following my platform or whatever. To be aware of these type of things. I didn't know this This was what was going on. And it's crazy and mind blowing to me. That people would spend time. To create a job. On Indeed. Make it seem like it's an official job. Only to send these checks out to people. To get people to go. And cash these checks. Or get people to. Send them pictures. Of the checks. So they can then take the money. So then when the people think like, oh, I'm going to, you know, deposit this check to get the supplies I need for the position that in which they are hiring you for. Then the check bounces and whatever you didn't spend, you got to come up with trying to owe or just going to try to cash a check anyway is, is bank fraud. It's, it's fraud. 
So if you're not putting any faces or you don't know, like to me, I, I know I have all the receipts as to what happened because I was smart enough to sit and screenshot everything. But just think if I didn't have none of this information and I try to go somewhere and cash this, it's going to look like I'm sitting up here making checks or something. That's, that's what it would look like to the authorities if they was to come. It's going to look, because once my name is attached to this, so once it, it cash, they going to, it's going, it was just, it was just too many red flags. And I was just like, mm -mm. so I held on to everything just for my receipts, just in case, because I don't know, I, I have, I've never been in a position like this before. I crashed so much. This happened a couple days ago. It is what, Friday? This happened Tuesday. I had to take a couple days just to unwind from how stressful the situation was. I was crying because one thing about me is my kids and my family is my world. And I just felt like I don't know what's going to come of this. I always go to the worst of the worst. So on my man, I'm like... I don't want this to come to my house. I don't want, I don't want no police be knocking on my door. Woo -woo. Whatever, whatever. That, that's what was going on with my man. But I'm like, long as I don't cash it, long as I don't take it no further than what it was, I should be fine. So I kept it just for my receipts and the fact to do this story time because I want this to touch somebody if this have ever been done to you you know let me know in the comments below how did you go about handling it or whatever but yes i just want us to be more aware because these scammers and things people like that is getting on these these websites and stuff that we look at as official like i, I would never in a million years think somebody would have the the time or you know what I'm saying to sit up and say we're going to create a job on here to get people who I, never in a million years where I would think that somebody would do that but just because that's me doesn't mean it's people across the world that won't sit up and think oh let's do this let's do this because they trying to scam the next person they trying to get the next person to do something that they know that they won't do so it can make it seem like oh you're in fault for what went on no 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 so that's what made me come on here and make this story time to let you guys know what was going on give you the little tea of the that is it, it is scammers out here on these indeed zebra cool and now it got me like oh like now I'm just going to start going on the websites and filling out remote jobs, work from home jobs on their official website so I can know like, okay, this is this is an official job. Because if they doing stuff like that, it's, it's no telling how many people on the that's doing things like that. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my story time. If you like these, if you want more story times. I definitely will bring them bring more just let me know in the comments below like I said everything you gonna have all the receipts once I edit it I'm gonna put everything up here so you guys can go and you guys can read everything yourself so everything will be up there yeah just thank you so much for watching thank you for supporting my channel if you haven't already please go like comment subscribe hit that notification bell so you can be notified um, every time I post a video, you can be notified. So, yes, thank you. And, guys, have a blessed, blessed, blessed Friday. It's cold here in Chicago, so we just trying to stay warm. It is freezing. But, yes, have a blessed Friday. And enjoy your weekend. Hopefully, I will have more content coming to you. So, yeah, thank you.